Loans is Unit 3 of the course Business Mathematics or BM501. Objective number one, calculate the amount of interest and amount due on a loan. Example number one, Mr. Johnson borrowed $15,000 for four years from ABC Bank at an interest rate of 8%. Calculate the amount of interest. So this is our formula. I, which stands for interest, equals P times R times T. P means principal, the amount of money borrowed. R stands for interest rate, expressed in percent form. And T stands for term of loan, or the amount of time usually expressed in years money is borrowed. Now we are going to use our formula. So I or interest equals 15,000 which is the money borrowed. Then the interest rate is 8%. So R is 0 0.08. So this is 8%. And then the time or T is 4 years. So that's times 4. Now multiplying these three numbers, this is what we get. This is our answer, $4,800. Example number 2, Mr. Butler borrowed $6,000 for three years from AAA Bank at an interest rate of 7%. Calculate the amount to at the end of three years. So amount due equals the principal or the money borrowed plus I or the interest. The principal here or the money borrowed is $6,000. Then plus for our interest we have the formula P times R times T. So this is the P, the principal, 6000 times the interest rate written in decimal form it's 0 0.07 then times t or time which is three years now performing the operation we have six thousand here then six thousand times 0 0.07 times three equals one thousand two hundred sixty then finally adding 6,000 and 1,260, our answer is 7,260. So this is the amount due at the end of three years. Example number three, BBB Bank offered 4,000 loan to the employees of an oil and gas company at an interest rate of 4% for 42 months. How much is the interest to be paid at the end of the term? Then, what is the maturity value of the loan? So first, we are going to solve for the interest. This is our formula, P times R times T. Our P here, the amount borrowed, is 4,000. Our interest rate here is 4%. Written in decimal form, it's 0 0.04. Then our time, it should be in years. So 42 months to convert this to years, we will just divide it by 12. Now performing the operation here, this is what we get. $560. So this is the interest. Now the maturity value is equal to P plus I, the amount borrowed plus the interest. So the amount borrowed is 4,000, then the interest is 560, so the maturity value is 4,560. Objective number two, calculate the exact interest, ordinary interest, and rate of interest on a loan. So example number four, how much is the exact interest on a loan of 4200 at an interest rate 
of 3.6% for 105 days. So again, this is our formula, I or interest equals P times R times T. Now we are going to substitute the given values here. So for our P, it's 4,200. For our R or the interest rate, it's 3.6%. So it's 0 0.036 written now in decimal form. Then because it's exact interest, so we have for 105 days, it should be 105 divided by 365. Now performing the operation here, this is what we get. So our answer is $43.50. Example number five, Kyle applied for a personal loan of 12600 at an interest rate of 5.2% for 100 days. The interest rate is ordinary. How much is the interest? Again, this is our formula. Interest equals P times R times T. Our P here is 12,600. Our R here is 5.2%, so it becomes 0 0.052 in decimal form. And then our time here is 100 days, but because the interest rate is ordinary, so it should be divided by 360. Now performing the operations here, this is what we get. The interest is $182. Example number six, Dennis applied for a loan of $45,000 for five years to buy a new car. If the interest paid at the end of the term is 18200 what is the rate of interest charged to the nearest tenth of a percent? So this is the formula to find the interest, that's P times R times T. But here we are asked to find the rate of interest, so meaning to say we are going to solve for R. To remove P and T, we will divide both sides by P times T. So R now becomes I divided by P times T. So this is our formula. Now substituting these values into our formula, so we have R equals 18,200, which is the interest I then divided by the principal P, 45,000, times time, which is five years. 45,000 times five equals 225,000. Or 18,000 divided by 225,000, that's 0 0.0809. Changing this to percent, we will just move the decimal two places to the right. So it becomes 8.09 or 8.1%. Objective number three, calculate the new balance on a loan. Example number seven, Jalen borrowed $35,000 for two years at an interest rate of 7.2%. His monthly payment is $1,600 to pay the loan in full. Calculate his balance after the first month and the second month. First, we are going to find his balance after the first month. So step one, calculate the interest on the first monthly payment. So our formula in finding the interest is P times R times T. So our P here is 35,000. Our R here is 7.2% or 0 0.072. Then our time here is just one month, so to express this in year, we are going to divide 1 by 12. 35,000 times 0 0.072 times the quantity 1 divided by 12, that gives us 210. 
So this is the interest on the first monthly payment. Step two, find the difference between the monthly payment and the value obtained in step one. So the monthly payment here is 1,600. So that's 1,600 minus 210. So that's $1,390. This amount is called the amount applied. Now step 3. Subtract the value obtained in step 2 from the amount borrowed. So the amount borrowed is 35000 Then minus 1390 Our answer is 33610 so this is the balance after the first month. We will take note of this amount because we will also find the balance after the second month. So it's 33,610. Now for the second month, first we are going to calculate the interest on the second monthly payment. So this is our formula, I equals P times R times T. Now our P is no longer 35,000, but it's 33,610, the balance after the first month. Then the rate in decimal form, it's 0 0.072 times, because it's the interest for one month, so it's 1 divided by 12, and performing the operations here, this is what we get, 201.66. Now step two, find the difference between the monthly payment and the value obtained in step one. So the monthly payment is the same, 1,600, then minus 201.66. And the answer here is $1,398.34. So this is the amount applied. Step three, subtract the value obtained in step 2 from the previous balance. So our previous balance is 33,610 and the amount obtained in step 2 is 1,398.34. So that means 33,610 minus 1,398.34 equals 32,211.66 dollars. So this is the balance after the second month. Thanks for watching guys. This is teacher Reggio. Keep safe.